Will's boiling sugar, honey, water and glucose for the honeycomb to sprinkle on his custard. You can really smell the, the, the honey. Yeah, it's beautiful. As opposed to just being sweet. So it's, it's a difficult one to make, honeycomber. Huh? Yeah, no. Everyone it, thinks it's simple, but when you pour it out, sometimes you can lose all the air straight away. Yeah. With my dessert, there's some elements that might go wrong, you know, that have to be correct. A baked custard, a jelly, honeycomb, you know, little things like that. But I'm, I'm confident that everything's going to be absolutely fine. Daniel's upmarket trifle appears to be coming together well, too. The custard has set nicely. Unlike the mead jelly to go on top of Richard's lavender junket. He's using a classic chef's technique of cooling it over a bowl of ice, but it doesn't seem to be working. So it's going to Rich. Get in there. I just want to finish up a couple of bits and pieces. What about the uh, the setting of the junket? Is it, is it set OK? And the junket's set good. The jelly's a bit at the minute. Too much sugar in there? No, I don't think it's the sugar. I think it's the alcohol. This could be a disaster for Richard. If he can't find a way to make the mead jelly set, he might have to leave out a key element of his dish. A little bit worrying. I've just been seeing Richard's jelly's not quite set, so hoping he's going to sort of maybe put a little bit more gelatin or reduce it down a little bit to try and get a better consistency because he needs the points. Richard's decided to go for broke. He's spooning a little of the jelly directly onto the junkets and putting them in the fridge to set. Daniel's hoping that his strawberry jelly, which he's using instead of traditional jam, will set fast too. While Will also has a vibrant ingredient. Look at the colour of that rhubarb. It's stunning. It needs to bring some tartness to the dish, that, because otherwise everything's just going to be sweet. Well, that's what rhubarb is. It's tart anyway, yeah. so it's... Um, totally. A lot of chefs try and over-sweeten it. It just tastes like sugar. And then I'm going to acidulate the liquor um, and almost season it with elderflower to make the, the little... Just a little soup, yeah. Okay. Will's got a lot of stuff going on. He always seems to be quite complex, but that maybe that's his style, so hopefully he's not put too much on and we're going to get a good pudding out of him. Will's agitating his honeycomb mixture to incorporate and cook the bicarb of soda, which creates the bubbles. And he'll now leave it alone to set, so as not to knock the air out. Daniel's at a delicate stage too, with the meringue to top his trifles. Is your pudding fitting for a, a prince? It's a one-pot wonder. If I got it through to the banquet, this is how I wanted to be. So you can enjoy... What? Well, sorbets and all that, it's a lot of stress. He seems pretty confident with his dish. He knows it's a simple dish, but this one does look quite simple, so, you know, we know Daniel has probably got a twist there somewhere. To his great relief, Richard's jelly has finally set. You happy with it? Yeah, I am, actually. Looks really old school, huh? That's what I wanted. Yeah, Where'd 19... you find them coops? 1970s, eat your heart out. Unbelievable. I thought it all kind of... Find them in a charity shop? Very expensive shop, actually, really? in North Norfolk. I think Richard's... Uh, I've got so much respect for him. He's been knocked every day this week, but he's coming with his head up high. He doesn't want to go home. I know the changes I'd make. I know that I could impress the judges. It's just having that opportunity to do it. If he can outscore Will by enough, he'll get that chance. Will's now crushing his set honeycomb, and all of them are conscious that one slip-up at this stage could ruin their chances. So we've got some big, bold flavours. Heather, lavender, elderflower, honey, rhubarb. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of ingredients in there, and a lot of mistakes can happen by overusing them. 